we're coming up to our bakery. We pray for our local businesses that actually we start to see them in a new light. Maybe, you know, you're you're someone who's been um, supporting your local businesses, but I just think sometimes we forget our local businesses, don't we? Pray for our local village bakery. Oh gosh, we know the importance of bread in scripture, the breaking of bread, the coming together, you know. Christ's disciples recognised him in the breaking of bread. I just wonder, you know, what is it that we recognise Christ in? Do we recognise Christ in the homeless? Do we recognise Christ in the beaten and the downtrodden? Do we recognise Christ in the what society deems the lowest, in the prisoner? Do we recognise Christ in the single parent? There's many ways Christ, many forms Christ comes in and today it's about reflecting on recognising him. May we, may we never not recognise Christ in our world. We pray that our eyes are always open. We're approaching now uh, one of our four churches, St Caddock's, and as we, as we walk past our lovely church, we just hold St Caddock's in our prayers. We hold St John's, Lanhenock, St Tegbeth's in Landegve, and we hold all saints in Lanvrekva in our prayers. We pray for the building and we pray for everybody that is, the whole community that's missing those doors being open right now. Um, we pray for our PCCs, our wardens. We pray for Reverend Sue and all our retired clergy. We pray for all those who work tirelessly behind the scenes to keep our churches open. And they're still working tirelessly. Our, our treasurers and wardens are still working with the clergy team to figure out what, what this all means and what we look like from day to day and in the future. I'm just gonna stop a while because it's one prayer. I want to pray today and that is that God is with our parishioners who are grieving. We pray for the souls of those we have lost in this time. We pray for the heartache that that's brought to so many and we pray that God's love and protection are over those that we still have with us. May they know your presence with them Lord in this grief and sorrow. May they know your light in their darkness. And so we pray for our churches, the incredible places of worship. And I don't know whether you can see just in there the cross. I'm not going to go too near the railings so don't touch them. The cross. The cross of Christ, where he defeated death. He defeated death. He defeated death. We are Easter people and we believe in hope. We believe in hope when times seem hopeless. We believe in miracles when nothing else seems to be working. So we pray, we pray and we never cease to pray. Prayer without ceasing, scripture talks of. May we never stop praying. We're now about to approach the our lovely Charles Williams School here. Now we've got, um, got many schools. We've got Lodge Primary and we've got Charles Williams and we've got Pontier Primary up in uh, Lanfrec for Parish. So as we walk past the school, we're just going to pray for all the, the heads, deputies, teaching assistants. We pray, we pray for um, Miss Penn, the head of Charles Williams, and Mrs Britton, the head of Montia. We pray for all our heads and deputy, Mrs Sperry. And we pray for our teaching assistants and our teachers and staff. Pray for our governors and trustees. 
We pray for the cleaners and the cooks and all those who, who keep these educational places going. We pray for the buildings as well, that they're kept safe, that God protects these buildings. And we pray especially for those schools like Charles Williams who are, and Pontier who are hubs for key workers. Pray for the teaching staff and the, and the children who I'm sure are, are very anxious right now. Across the road, we have our GP surgery and we just pray for our GP surgery. We pray for our NHS. If anyone needs prayer right now, they do. So we pray for our NHS staff, for all those working and putting their lives at risk, being a sacrifice for those who are vulnerable and frightened and very, very poorly. We pray for all the patients, those suffering with COVID-19 and those just suffering because of it. Those who have gone without appointments and, and treatment because of the strain of the NHS. We just pray for all those carrying those anxieties. May they know God's peace in this time. And big up to the NHS. May they know God's love with them. May they never, ever not know how proud the general public are of them. We are very proud of you. We love you. And apart from my one daily form of exercise, we stay at home and protect them. I'm going to cross the road now. We're coming up to the village hall right now. We just think about all our socials and our village life and we, we pray for all the festivals and the things that we're missing this summer and we, we pray for all those who are organising, pray for our council and our governments, the decisions that they're making, that they make the right decisions, they seek God's guidance on these things. I've just spotted something. Oh yeah, we got to pray for our knitters. We got to pray for our knitters. Look at this, stay home, save lives. Isn't this beautiful? We pray for our knitters. We pray for those who are helping the NHS by getting their sewing machines out and making scrubs and masks. And we pray for all those businesses that are turning their hands to, to um, churning out equipment for the NHS staff. We pray for our local industries and businesses who are working tirelessly to help in this crisis. Just across the road we have the green and a bit further up we have the Goldcroft and we have local our local stores and supermarkets and we just pray for all our local businesses right now, Lord, that they they know you with them. We pray for the staff that are working there every day to get these supplies to us. We pray that we stay calm and we treat them with kindness. You know, the staff are desperately trying their best to open the stores. So when we need to queue longer than we have before, when there's less that need to go into the stores, when we can buy less, let's be kind to those who are serving us. You know, well, those are working for us because they're just doing a job and they have homes and families too. Let's be kind. Lord, we pray for those who are transporting supplies. Pray for our army. We pray for long distance lorry drivers and supply companies. Very aware right now we're walking along this long uh, wall. For those who know Killian, know behind this wall some very, very precious individuals as we approach the Killian home residential and nursing care home. And we pray for all our elderly residents in this care home. Pray for our staff. There we go. There's our staff having a cup of tea. We pray for our staff. We pray for all those who work in our care homes who are protecting the most vulnerable right now. We pray for our residents that the they find peace in this time where families can't visit 
the same. We pray for their health, we pray for protection over them from this COVID-19. Lord, we pray for our village here at St Caddox, but we pray for every town and city as we walk these pavements. May people in their homes, in their situations at work, or with family, alone and frightened, may they know your presence with them. May they know that they are on and in our prayers at this time. And they're not alone. They're being held and may we know when to pick up the phone too, to ring somebody and just be a voice at the other end. We live amongst lives and streets and neighbours and communities right now and every single one of us needs to be held in prayer so can I urge you when you go out think about doing a prayer walk too you know think about looking around and letting God lead your heart to place those things in his hands as ever stay safe God bless. Have a blessed day.